Hey guys! Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, today is going to be on a haul and I haven't gotten everything in but in the last couple weeks I've been going a little bit crazy um, with buying things mainly online and I did some damage at Gap and yeah so it's just been a little crazy. Um, my husband was out of town and I blame him. I told him I was bored so um, he's the culprit. Anyway, um, so the first thing I wanted to share with you is um, I bought a ton of sunscreens. I only got two in, but I've been buying a ton of sunscreens because um, I'm looking for a replacement for my beloved uh, Sofina Perfect UV uh, Lucent sunscreen. And I absolutely love this thing, and it's sadly discontinued. So. Um, I bought a couple to try off imomoco.com and they did come in and so I wanted to show you these. Um, this one is the Hadalabo UV SPF 50 PA++++. This is the UV Moist Emulsion. So this is made in Japan. This is an Asia, obviously Asia exclusive. And then the other one I got from iMomoCo is the Sun Play, and this is a Super Block SPF 50 PA++++. So we'll try this and see how it is. I've heard really good things about this one. I believe uh, Sue Lin and Bang Bang She Shoots. Um, have talked about this on their blogs and I love both of them and I trust both of them their opinions so um, I went ahead and bought this one so we'll try these out and see how they how they work I know Mr. Dizzy Bubbles is trying some Curel um, sunscreens that I can't wait for her to post on um, I'm really interested in possibly trying those as well I know that they have those on AdamBeauty.com and so yeah I'm waiting for her kind of reveal on that before I go ahead and purchase but yeah I wish this wasn't discontinued but we'll we'll see I'll let you guys know how these work out so the next items that I wanted to show you is um, some skin food things that I got from an eBay seller in South Korea and I will link their information down below um, wonderful quality, I mean everything's legit, shipping was super quick, and they included some great extras in here. And I've been wanting to try more skin food stuff um, since trying their BB creams. I do have the mushroom and the aloe. I do like both of them. The mushroom obviously fits my skin tone just a little bit better than the aloe. But if you want to check out my BB cream review, uh, all of those um, items are shown there. Um, so I wanted to try some skin food stuff. So. Um, let's see, I got three masks right here, and these are the wash off masks, and this one is the, whoops, the rice mask, and these are all 100 gram uh, plastic container tubs. So the rice mask uh, is very popular on blogs, and I've been wanting to try it for a while, and this has, um, rice extracts that help to soften the texture of the skin and just make the skin more radiant so I'm really excited to try this. Um, the next one is the uh, Fresh Aloe Pack and this is a soothing pack to provide moisture and hydration and again a 100 gram tub and then the last one is the Black Sugar Mask and this is supposed to, I don't know, add luster to the skin and smooth out the skin. So there's that one. This one's, I believe, the grainy one that you kind of exfoliate the skin. So I'm super excited to try these out. I will definitely let you guys know, but I'm really excited to try these. If you have tried any of these masks, leave me a comment below and tell me what you thought about them. And then uh, they sent me a ton of extras. I got a ton of uh, face masks and then a sample of the Gold Kiwi Sun Cream. It has an SPF of 36 PA++.
So if you've tried um, the Gold Kiwi line from Sunfood, let me know how it is. It sounds like it's really nice. And then the masks they sent were all the same type and they are the brand Beauty Friends and it's the Potato Essence Mask Chic Pack and they come with 23 grams of essence in here. I've never heard of this brand or tried this brand. It is a Korean brand and the potato uh, extracts help to soothe rough and damaged skin and make the skin smooth. So it's supposed to really soften the skin up. If any of you have tried this Beauty Fred brand before, let me know. So the last part of the Skin Food haul that I did is uh, for their concealer. And this is the Skin Food Salmon Dark Circle Concealer Cream. And it comes in a little jar like this. And there's quite a bit of product in here. It's 10 grams, which doesn't seem like a lot but it's actually a quite a lot of product. It has a slight smell to it and I'll just kind of swatch the color for you. So that's the color and I got number one, color number one, obviously because I'm so super fair. But I'll go ahead and kind of massage this in so you can kind of look. I love this product so much. I'm so excited that I finally purchased this. I know Susie um, Dottylicious, she uses this concealer and absolutely loves it. And we're sort of the same uh, skin tone. She's kind of in between a, a yellow and a pink undertone, kind of more of a neutral. And I'm the same, and this concealer is so fantastic. A little bit goes a very, very long way. And it does help to conceal, but it also brightens. And I've never had a concealer that does both. I would either have to conceal and then, and then do like a brightening or a highlighting effect. This does both. And it just brightens up my under eyes so, so much. And I have it on right now, and I don't know if you can tell, but my under eyes just seem so much more alive and awake and brighter. And I don't have the, the worst, I guess, the, the worst dark circles, um, but I do have some hyperpigmentation issues right under my eyes right here, and it really helps to just to kind of brighten those areas up. So I'm absolutely loving this concealer so much, and I think it's actually better Sorry uh, for you girls that really love the Kevin Beauty Maker Aqua Eye Concealer, but um, it is definitely much better than this guy. I absolutely love this stuff. I would never, ever, ever hesitate to tell anyone about this. It is a fantastic concealer. Um, like I said, it comes in this cute little jar. It's kind of like an antique brass type of container. And I'm just so in love with this. I don't know why I waited so long, but this is definitely my highlight of my purchase so far, although I haven't tried the mask, so I can't say that, but this concealer is fantastic. So that's kind of the first part of my haul. I am getting a lot more things um, in the mail, and once I get those, I will definitely share those with you. If you have any comments, um, please leave them down below. If you've tried any of these products, let me know what you think of them, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!